Ike Eisenman, an actor known for his work in both television and film, has made a significant mark in the entertainment industry. From a young age, he showed a natural talent for acting, which led him to roles in classic family movies and popular TV shows. His performances have not only entertained audiences, but also inspired many aspiring actors. Eisenman's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring characters to life on screen are just a few of the reasons he is celebrated in the acting community. Ike Eisenman is a talented actor known for his roles in family-friendly films during the 1970s and 1980s. He gained fame as a child actor, especially for his performances in Escape to Witch Mountain and Return from Witch Mountain. His ability to bring characters to life and connect with audiences of all ages made him a memorable part of many childhoods. Now we're curious to hear from you. What qualities do you think make Ike Eisenman stand out among actors of this time? Have you had any personal experiences where Ike Eisenman's work has touched your life or inspired you in some way? And what is your most treasured memory related to Ike Eisenman? Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Ike Eisenman coming up that you won't want to miss. Ike Eisenman, born in Houston, Texas, grew up in a family that appreciated the arts. His mother, Ruth Ann Gumney, was an actress and his father, Albert Abel Eisenman, was a music professor. This environment naturally introduced him to acting and music at a young age. He began his career as a child actor with his first significant role in the TV movie, The Fantastic Journey. His talent was noticed early on and he received guidance and support from his parents and industry professionals. This nurturing setting helped him develop his skills and passion for acting leading to a successful career in film and television. Ike often credits his parents for their support and the positive influence they had on his career path. Ike Eisenman was born on July 21, 1962 in Houston, Texas. He grew up in a family that appreciated the arts, which played a significant role in his early interest in acting. His mother was an actress, and this family connection to the performing arts greatly influenced his decision to pursue acting. As a child, he appeared in commercials and took on small roles, which helped him gain experience in the industry. His breakout role came as a young actor when he was cast in the film Escape to Witch Mountain, which set the course for his future career in acting. Eisenman continued to act through his teenage years, balancing his education with his passion for performing. His early exposure to the entertainment industry and the support from his family were crucial in shaping his path as an actor. Eisenman's career expanded as he took on various roles, demonstrating his talent and dedication to his craft from a young age. Eisenman's early life in Texas and his family's involvement in the arts were the foundation of his journey into acting, leading to a career that would see him become known for his performances in both film and television. Eisenman's early experiences reflect a natural progression into the acting profession, nurtured by his family's support and his own growing passion for storytelling. Eisenman's background is a testament to the influence of family and early opportunities in shaping a successful acting career. Ike Eisenman found his love for acting at a young age. When he was just a child, he saw a movie that made him realize he wanted to be an actor. He was so moved by the story and the characters that he decided then and there that he wanted to be part of that world. He started acting in school plays and local theater, which only made his passion grow stronger. His big break came when he was cast in a significant role in a well-known film. This experience confirmed his love for acting and set him on the path to a successful career in the industry. Eisenman's early exposure to the magic of movies and his determination to follow his dream played a crucial role in his journey to becoming an actor. Ike Eisenman delivered a memorable performance as Tony in Return from Witch Mountain, teaming up once again with Kim Richards and Denver Pyle, who played Tia and Uncle Benet. They brought their characters back to life under the direction of John Ho, who also directed the first film, Escape to Witch Mountain. Years later, Eisenman and Richards made a special appearance in Race to Witch Mountain, where they played different roles, but gave a nod to their original characters, Tony and Tia. Off-screen, Eisenman's father, Albert Abel, was known for entertaining children as Cadet Don on a Houston TV show in the 1960s. This connection to entertainment runs in the family, showcasing a tradition of bringing stories to life across generations. Ike Eisenman, known for his acting from a young age, faced significant challenges. Early in his career, he dealt with financial difficulties, often a reality for actors starting out. 
The entertainment industry, known for its tough competition, also viewed him with doubt. Despite these obstacles, Ike showed great determination. He found ways to stand out through his acting skills and by taking on diverse roles that showcased his talent. His ability to adapt and his strong will helped him navigate through tough times and build a successful career in acting. Eisenman's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and creativity in overcoming adversity. Ike Eisenman's journey through the world of acting is marked by notable appearances and relationships. In the Star Trek universe, he played Preston in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, joining a list of actors who transitioned from the show T.J. Hooker to roles in various Star Trek series. His portrayal of Scott Jordan in The Fantastic Journey is remembered for his selective interactions with the cast. Interviews reveal that Eisenman did not mention Jared Martin, the show's lead, and instead formed a close bond with Roddy McDowell. This choice reflects Eisenman's preference for established actors, as he saw McDowell, a former child star, as a peer, and an example for his own career trajectory. Eisenman's approach to relationships in the industry was shaped by his status as a sought-after child actor and his view of his place among his peers. Ike Eisenman gained attention with his role in the film Escape to Witch Mountain, where he played Tony Malone. This role showcased his talent at a young age and set the stage for his future in acting. His performance was praised for its naturalness and ability to connect with audiences. Later, his voice work in animations like Star Trek the Animated Series as the character Peter Preston expanded his range and brought him recognition in a different aspect of the industry. Eisenman's peers and critics noted his adaptability and skill in bringing characters to life, whether on screen or through voice. These roles were significant in shaping his career and establishing him as a skilled actor among his contemporaries. Eisenman's work has been appreciated for its clarity and relatability, which has resonated with viewers over the years. His journey in the entertainment industry reflects a steady dedication to his craft. Ike Eisenman faced a challenging co-star while filming Escape to Witch Mountain a cat named Winky. This cat was not easy to work with and often scratched him during their scenes together. In the same movie, Ike shared the screen with Eddie Albert marking the first of two collaborations with actors from Star Trek to The Wrath of Khan. Later, Ike would appear alongside Merritt Butrick in Head Office. Years after the original Witch Mountain movies, Ike Eisenman and Kim Richards had a special appearance in Race to Witch Mountain. They played different roles, but gave a nod to their original characters Tony and Tia by having similar names in the new movie. Ike was Sheriff Anthony, and Kim was Tina, the waitress. This connection between the old and new films was a treat for fans of the series. Ike Eisenman, known for his work as an actor, approaches his craft with a focus on authenticity. He draws from his own life to bring truth to his performances. His style is characterized by a natural ease in front of the camera, a result of years of experience. He often speaks about how his roles reflect his own journey and the lessons he has learned. This personal touch is what sets his work apart. Eisenman's acting is grounded in real emotions and experiences, making his characters relatable and real. His process involves deep understanding of the character's background, which allows him to step into their shoes with conviction. This method has earned him respect in the acting community and among audiences. Eisenman's work is a reflection of his belief in honest storytelling, and his dedication to his craft shines through in every role he takes on. Ike Eisenman played the role of Peter Preston in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. In a scene that was not included in the original movie, it is revealed that Preston is the nephew of Scotty, the chief engineer. This detail was added back into the film in a later director's edition. Eisenman was also known for his voice work as Little Green Sprout in the Green Giant Vegetable commercials. In the 2000s, he changed his name to Ike Eisenman or Lake Eisenman, which led to confusion and made it hard for people to find information about him. It turned out this was not his real name, and he eventually changed it back to the original. Eisenman's career includes both on-screen roles and voice acting, leaving a memorable mark in both areas. Ike Eisenman has been a steady presence in the acting world since his childhood. Starting with roles in family-friendly films like Escape to Witch Mountain, he showed early on that he could carry a film with his genuine performances. As a voice actor, he brought characters to life in animated features and video games, showing his range and ability to adapt to different media. 
His work has inspired many young actors who saw in him a model for transitioning from child to adult roles in the industry. Experts note his consistent work ethic and dedication to his craft, which has set a standard for others. Those who have worked with him or followed his career often speak of his professionalism and the subtle yet effective ways he conveys emotion on screen, influencing storytelling by showing that powerful performances don't always require grand gestures. Eisenman's career offers a blueprint for longevity in the industry, proving that a steady approach can lead to sustained success. Ike Eisenman has been a familiar face in the entertainment industry, especially known for his roles as a child actor. He played Scott Jordan in The Fantastic Journey, where he was affectionately called Scotty by the ship captain. This nickname carried over to his later role in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, where he portrayed Cadet Preston, the nephew of the original Scotty. His role as Tony in Escape to Witch Mountain is also well remembered. Pete and Kim Richards, who played Tia, shared a strong on-screen chemistry that convinced many they were actual siblings. Their partnership extended beyond the Witch Mountain series to include the film Devil Dog the Hound of Hell. Off-screen, Ike is the uncle to Hannah and Stone Eisenman, both of whom have followed in his acting footsteps. Ike's career has spanned various genres and roles, making him a notable figure in the world of acting. Ike Eisenman, known for his acting, also leads a life rich with personal interests and values that shape his work. He cares deeply about children's education and well-being, often supporting charities that focus on improving learning opportunities and environments for young people. His love for nature and animals is evident in his support for wildlife conservation efforts. Eisenman's personal experiences and beliefs are reflected in the roles he chooses and the projects he supports, showing his commitment to making a positive difference in the world. He believes in giving back to the community and is actively involved in various charitable activities, aiming to use his platform to raise awareness and support for these important causes. Eisenman's dedication to his values not only enriches his life, but also inspires his professional choices, making his work resonate with sincerity and purpose. In the movie Escape to Witch Mountain, Ike Eisenman played Tony, a boy with special powers. During a fight scene, an accident happened where Dermot Downs hit the bat too hard, and it struck Ike, leaving a bruise under his eye that was visible in some shots. Despite this, Ike was dedicated to his role. He even learned to play the harmonica for his character, but in the end, his playing was replaced by the professional musician Tommy Morgan. Ike's commitment to his roles is also shown by his work with Eddie Albert in the same movie, marking a connection between Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and Escape to Witch Mountain as both he and Merritt Butrick, another actor from Star Trek, worked with Albert in different films. Ike's experiences on set reflect both the unexpected challenges and his dedication to bringing his characters to life. Ike Eisenman has been a steady presence in the acting world, known for his roles in family-friendly films and TV shows. He started young and inspired many by showing that hard work and passion can lead to a successful career in acting. Looking ahead, he aims to guide the next generation by sharing his experiences and encouraging them to stay dedicated to their craft. His advice to newcomers is to always keep learning, be ready to adapt, and to never lose the joy of performing. He stresses the importance of patience and persistence as success in acting does not come overnight. Eisenman believes in supporting others and building a community where everyone grows together. He continues to act and direct, hoping to bring more stories to life that entertain and inspire. Ike Eisenman, known for his acting career, is the older brother of Al Eisenman, also known as Albert Abel Eisenman Jr. Ike stepped into the world of acting before his younger brother, setting a path that Al would later follow. Both brothers have shared a connection to the entertainment industry, with Ike's early start inspiring Al's own journey into acting. Ike's work has spanned various roles, showcasing his ability to adapt to different characters and settings. His career has been marked by a steady presence on screen, where he has been part of stories that many remember fondly. Ike and Al's shared history in acting is a reflection of their family's creative roots, with each brother carving out his own space in the acting field. Ike Eisenman's career in the entertainment industry is a story of dedication and creativity. Starting as a child actor, he quickly showed his talent and love for acting. Over the years, he took on various roles, always bringing fresh ideas and a strong commitment to his craft. His work has inspired many and shown that with hard work and imagination, you can achieve great things. 
Ike's journey reminds us that no matter the challenges, staying true to your creative spirit and pushing forward can lead to success and inspire others along the way. Ike Eisenman, known for his childhood roles in Disney films and television, faced a challenging transition as he grew older, like many child actors. The entertainment industry often moves on to newer, younger talents, leaving former child stars to navigate a world where their early fame does not guarantee future success. This shift can be tough, and for Eisenman, it meant stepping away from the spotlight and finding a different path in the industry. Despite the challenges, he has continued to work in various capacities, including voice acting and production, showing resilience and adaptability in an ever-changing field. Ike Eisenman has been a familiar face in film and television, known for his roles as a child actor, and his work behind the camera as an adult lieutenant. His performances have brought joy to many and have been a part of our shared experience of cinema. We invite you to share your favorite memories of Ike Eisenman's performances and how they have touched your life. Your comments help us celebrate his career and the joy he has brought to screens big and small. If you enjoy content that honors the creative talents and entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us continue to highlight the artists who bring stories to life.